The last activity on day one is zero gravity. Now we call it zero gravity because the force is going to be lift pulling things up, and then gravity is going to be pulling it down. But when we have the same force pulling up that equals the force pulling down, it reaches what we call equilibrium. It has a net force of zero. So this is zero gravity. They're going to be using a helium balloon. Now here's the helium tank that you're going to have in your can. In order to use it, you take the green turny thing at the top, and you turn it counterclockwise all the way until it stops. That will open up the valve to let the gas through. In order to get the balloon filled with it, you put the balloon on and then pull it to the side. You don't push it down or up, just pull it to the side and then it'll fill it up. So, we're going to fill up a balloon and we put our campers into groups. They can do teams of three or two. I don't like to go past three because that would be too many. So about three in a group is as high as you want to go. And then for every group of three or two, you give them their own balloon. So you have the campers line up. Of course, always ask about latex allergies. If it's kids without, with latex allergies, then you might have to move on to a different activity. Uh, or if there is not bad, they can be around it, then just make sure they don't touch the balloon. So here, we take our balloon, fill it up, wrap it around two fingers, push through the center, tie off your balloon. Now you take your ribbon. You can use ribbon or string or yarn or anything that you have around, and you put that on the bottom. You only want about two feet or three feet. It doesn't have to be measured. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just need a little bit of ribbon. So you take the ribbon, you tie it onto the end of your balloon, and then you're going to give them a piece of paper towel. Right? So the paper towel is the gravity part. The helium is creating lift, and the paper towel is going to create the gravity part where it's pulling it down. So we can talk about density here. The density of the helium is less than the density of the air. Imagine being at a concert and you're on stage and you jump into a crowd of people. If there's a whole bunch of people, they can lift you up and you can do stage surfing or crowd surfing. If there's only one person, you'll land on them and both get hurt. The air molecules are all those people holding up the helium, which lives on top. And if this were heavier, then it would fall through. It means it had more mass or density. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take this, you're now increasing the mass of your balloon by tying weight onto the bottom. Now when I let it go, it should go down. Unless, of course, there's not enough towel. So let's put more towel on there. And now we should have plenty of weight on our balloon. We could just trim it and then add it. Yeah, you want to just, right, we'll just keep trim it, it Trim it right to the part where I was all right, I'll, give, I'll give you another five. All right, you're not recording right now? No, it's still recording, but you can you can cut it. Okay. 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 Five and seven, five, four, three. Now I've increased the mass of the balloon, so gravity's going to pull it down. Now what you want to do is you want to reach that equilibrium, that zero force on either side. So what you want to do is rip off little bits. So each camper, if you have a team of three, take turns. Camper one goes, camper two goes, camper three goes. And they have to start being real careful when they start getting to the point where the balloon starts not going down as fast. Because if they rip too much off, it's going to go up to the ceiling. Now we're going to use this as a relay later. Once they get, all the teams get equilibrium. You can give away like fake points and say, hey, you won if they get it there first. But once we reach equilibrium, we're going to do a relay. You actually take tape and you tape off an area that's about four feet apart to six feet apart. You put the tape down. That's the start line on both sides. So one camper stands here, another camper stands over here. What they're going to do is they're going to stand on one side and they're going to move this without using any hands. They can't touch the balloon, the string, or the paper towel. And it can't touch the wall, the ceiling, or the ground. If it does any of that, then they have to get out of the way and let the other team come in. And they can keep trying until they get it, but we're looking for the team that can do it first. So here, we're going to blow on it. Once they reach the other side, they get out of the way, and the other camper has to send it back this way. So if there's three campers, it goes this way. Then it goes back that way. And then it goes back this way. If they can do that without touching it or having it touch any of the room, 
then they win. That's zero gravity. 